In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to be showing you a simple but effective passing concept from the Empty Patriot in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about helping you get better at Madden NFL 21. I do that through daily videos like this that share different concepts, different tactics, different routes that you might not know are really, really effective in this game. So if you want to uh, go ahead and continue to get better on the offensive and on the defensive side of the ball, because we also upload blitzes and strategies and defensives and coverages like that, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I upload every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Now in today's video, we are gonna be going over this play right here, Smash Corner, and I love this play primarily for the routes that it gives you. Now if you have a slot apprentice, it really makes this play even better. So I would definitely encourage you to have a slot apprentice either on your Mutt lineup or to maybe use the, the, the Buccaneers or maybe use a team that has slot apprentice in regs. It really does help this offense be able to be even more effective. You could run this play without that, but I just wanted to encourage you, if you have something like that, to go ahead and take advantage of it and leverage it. Now, smash corner, basically it's a very simple play. Essentially, on one, we have smash on both sides of the field, but what we have is we have these nice little in routes, and these are one of my, uh, two of my favorite uh, in routes in the entire game. And basically, all I'm going to be doing here is I'm simply going to take Chris Godwin, and I'm going to put him on a post route. And then from this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to motion him to the inside. And effectively from here, I can pretty much snap the ball. There's really nothing else that I need to do. Now on the on the right side of the formation, you might want to smart route Cameron Brait, but you don't have to do this, okay? Um, but what's really nice is they're not going to be able to press you. And so if you're facing man-to-man -man coverage, part of what I believe to be the key to running a good five-wide scheme and what I love about the fact that this is from the Patriots playbook specifically um, is you're going to be able to audible down into several other formations and plays that are going to be very, very effective. What that looks like is now I can run this levels concept on the left side or I can run smash on the right side. And you can kind of do whatever you want with the other players on the field. For example, I could take Gronk and I could simply put him on a simple streak route if I wanted to test the opponent deep uh, against zone coverage. What you'll notice about these little in routes is that they do a really good job um, at getting separation against man-to-man -man coverage. Let me show you that one more time. Um, and they normally, like I said, when you motion Godwin in right here, what this is going to do is it's going to get him unbumpable. Cameron Brait is typically going to be unbumpable because they can't run, um, they can't always run nickel, right? The other thing that's going to typically happen, I am in dollar three two six, right? So they are going to be able to press Gronk, but if they were in a nickel formation, they wouldn't be able to press him either, which would give you even another player on your team that is unbumpable. Anyway, the majority of these guys are going to get quick wins against man-to-man. -man. Either one of these dig routes are going to be wide open. Now, the route that I like to work the most on this specific play is that left side in route. So typically what you'll see is if I go to something different on this back side, it might look something like this um, right here, this little concept right here. You can kind of essentially tailor this however you would like it. But what you'll notice is you're going to be able to get that nice instant win animation and be able to get inside and work the ball up the field against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, as far as um, what about this post route to uh, Chris Godwin? Well, what's nice is once you motion him inside, effectively you're reading the user. If the user goes to the right side, you're going to hit that post route right in the middle of the field against man-to-man -man coverage. That's going to be very consistent. It's going to be able to do a really good job also against coverages like something like this right here uh, where they're putting their safeties in the middle of the field. They're putting them in purple zones, and they might even have a deep blue. What you notice is that deep blue is going to back up, and you can hit that for a nice little underneath route against man-to-man -man coverage. So you have multiple reads on this play that are going to be very effective um, against man-to-man -man coverage. One of the things I would recommend is at the snap of the ball, kind of deciding what you're wanting to do with Gronkowski. You can do several things with him. If you want to just leave him on his little in route, um, his in route will oftentimes get very nice separation against man-to-man -man coverage, and you can basically work the high-low combination on either side and essentially choose where the user is coming from. Now, one thing that I do like to do um, from this is if they're not press coverage, it's like right here, this is press coverage. If I motion Godwin in, the other thing that I could do is I could motion him to the left and snap while he's moving, 
and you'll see that that's going to get him unbumpable as well in case you wanted to have a little bit better spacing um, for your crossing routes to be able to open up. The next defense that I want to show you to skins is a basic zone coverage. This is going to be cover three defense. And when I face zone, and if I know I'm facing zone, I'm definitely going to put Gronkowski on that simple streak route, primarily for the reason of being able to throw this uh, hitch route. What that little streak route is going to do, because he's on the line of scrimmage, he is going to jet right up the seam and be able to pull a lot of the zones um, a lot of the zones with him and that's going to leave the backside uh, little smoke screen hitch route in case they don't play hard flat coverage uh, on on the uh, on the uh, right side uh, slot now on the on the left side again you're still working your levels concept and what you'll see is this route right here is going to be very consistent even if they hard flat, it's actually going to be just almost as consistent. Um, you might have to wait a little bit longer if they hard flat, but you're still going to have this opening to be able to hit this route to Mike Evans. What you see here is I'm going to hard flat on the outside, and he's just going to come right in, and he's going to hit it right at that little point right there. One of the benefits to running a smash concept with a uh, with this corner route to Godwin, if you were to run in, if you wanted to keep the corner route on the on the play, one of the benefits to that. Is these outside flat routes are going to have to they're going to have to come down um, they're, they're, they're not going to be able to sit there like they were able to on that play and what you'll notice is let's say that they're running cover three hard flat on this outside this is going to allow a nice little window and pocket for you to be able to hit this route to Chris Godwin as he cuts to the outside on the left side of the screen so you can definitely make an argument for leaving the corner out and not even need to basically do anything to this play and essentially being able to run this stock. Now, one of the good things about having this alignment is you're going to draw them. They're going to basically have to um, at least respect the fact that you're in spread. And so by putting McCoy on a hitch or smoke screen, he's going to draw a lot of these flats and you're going to be able to snap throw that route to Gronk as well on the play side. So you can kind of work both sides of the formation um, against cover three. Now cover two, this play is really, really good against cover two. It was pretty, I mean, it was basically tailor made to build, um, tailor made to beat cover two. Uh, and what you'll notice is if they go high, which they typically will, if those vert hooks kind of stay with the post route. And this is why these in routes are so important. They're not drags, drags won't work. Stock five and in routes will not work the same. You have to have these specific routes that both Rob Gronkowski and Mike Evans are on. Otherwise, the concept will not work exactly like it's supposed to. Because these routes are rounded, they take that little outside release and they kind of go to the outside just a little bit and then they cut underneath. The, re the reason that that's significant is it's going to draw attention of the flats. And what that allows is it allows those vertical hooks to get pulled with the post route, opening up a window for you to be able to hit this route as it comes underneath. That was a shaded coverage down look out of cover two. So that vert hook is supposed to play at five yards and that flat is supposed to play at zero to five yard depth as well. And as you saw, we're still able to hit it against that cover two coverage. Now, obviously, if they start to shade coverage down, I accidentally hit the timeout. I apologize for that. This is a great time for me to talk about uh, my text message membership. If you've never joined my text message membership, I would highly encourage you to do that. We release free tips and free money schemes every single week to our text message members. Those videos are typically super in-depth and super thorough. One of the guys said he doesn't even know why he buys eBooks anymore when he could just use the material that we put together for him in our text message membership. So I would highly encourage you to join it. All you got to do is shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. It's completely free. Just shoot me a text message, and I'll shoot you a link with the playlist to all of the videos for our text message members. All right, I want to go back to the video here, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, cover two. And the primary thing that I want to show you is this post route to this, um, this slot receiver. So like I said, they're going to pick one side. You know, They're either going to go to the right or they're going to go to the left. What you'll notice is on the right side, you see he's going to get inside release and he's going to basically beat any yellow zone, any vert hook on that side. So you have that going for you as well. You're going to be able to really put a lot of stress on the user because if the user goes to the right, um, as you can see right here, you know, if I'm the user in this cover two look right here and I go to the right, let me just show you what I mean by that. And we're going to be simple here. Um, and we'll say that this guy's on a deep zone and they're going to be using this guy, right? They're doing something like this. 
and they take this guy and they're they're basically going to you know kind of essentially he, he they really want him to cover um, they they really want him to cover this player uh, on the left side of the screen. Well, what that's going to do is it's going to open up a lot of space for you to be able to hit um, this backside dig to Gronkowski. And now you're starting to see some of the issues that this offense can really um, that this offense can really give people. Now, the next thing I want to show you is what if they go with a Mabel coverage, right? Something like this, very simple uh, coverage. But essentially, what this Mabel coverage is designed to do, it's really designed to take away that corner route to Cameron Brait and that hitch route to the backside. Uh, back. And what you'll see is against Mabel coverage, uh, this middle of the field is going to be even more open than it already was with the vert hooks. Because what Mabel coverage basically does is it takes the yellow zones out of the field. You can't play yellow zone coverage. Now, what if they play cover three hard flat? I do want to show you that real, real quick. If they play cover three hard flat, as far as a coverage goes, this is not something that's necessarily sound either. Because what you're going to notice is you can low ball this route to Cameron Bray right when he cuts to the outside, and he's going to be wide open against that coverage. Cover three will do a good job against Cameron Bray if they can maybe user him for long enough and they're able to give it him and basically hand him off to the outside corner on the outside. But that's where, you know, occasionally, where that's why I suggest occasionally, depending, especially if they're running a lot of zone, to go ahead and streak Rob Gronkowski. What you'll see here is with a low ball pass lead outside, you see even with Jair Alexander, who has the deep out elite ability, he's not going to be able to come down on that. Uh, cover th cover two is going to be kind of more of the same, honestly. Um, or I'm sorry, not cover two, cover four. Even if they hard flat on the outsides, um, these deep guys aren't going to do much. You know, this low ball is, is pretty much going to be consistently open for you uh, to be able to hit. Now, cover four will do a little bit better of a job in terms of how um, aggressively they're going to to defend Cameron Bray, you'll notice here that they're going to do a little bit better of a job, but you still can lowball this. Um, right there, Jair Alexander made a little bit better of a play. But as long as you get this ball out, and again, you want to use the whole field, you want to use the space that is opening up, um, you really want to make sure that you're running this route to Cameron Bray to the wide side of the field. You don't want to be running his route to the short side because it's just not going to it's not going to really work well with the, the entire things that we're trying to do. But again, pass it down to the outside, and as you can see, you're able to possession catch that right in front of the corner. So all in all, this play does really good against um, against a lot of things. But what I wanted to do really quick is show you one of my favorite reasons this play is really really good because it's really really powerful against the blitz. Um, and what I mean is something like this. We're going to send a simple overload pressure uh, here on the left side of the screen. Probably won't even come in. But what you'll notice is essentially wherever they blitz from, just throw that backside dig. And you'll see it's going to open up space and you're going to be able to move the ball down the field. A lot of people that I've been talking to are having a little bit of an issue with something like this. Basically like mid blitz where they're coming up and they're going to send heavy, heavy pressure. The beauty of the five wide is if somebody runs something like that where they're having to send six people and they're going to be usering in the middle of the field, right? Something like this, we got everybody manned up. This is going to open up quick, quick, quick windows for you to be able to hit this route. So if you're facing something like mid blitz, I highly recommend running something like this because these little outside little in routes are going to get instant separation against man-to-man -man coverage and oftentimes it's going to create a big play for your offense. So all in all, this is a phenomenal concept, and I would highly encourage you to check this out. Now, this is one of many plays that we've broken down in our New England Patriots offensive ebook. And I want to talk about my text membership just a little bit more. Now, you can get the full ebook, head down to the description. There's a link to pick up the guide, it goes through everything. The guide is over 300 pages, over 36 formations are broken down in it, and over 10 hours of video content. But one of the things that I wanted to share with you before you go down and pick up the ebook, is and before you click off this video is in my text message membership one of the things that i've offered for my text message members and only for my text message members is a free over two hour sample and two formation sample of the new england patriots ebook this sample covers both the a slot offset and the split close formation uh, in the new england patriots ebook which are two of the most popular formations in madden this year and we show you how to do every single thing and show you everything that you need to know to use those two formations at a very very high level so if you want to receive that free sample video go ahead and shoot me a text message again my number is 812-216-3644 
Thank you guys so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And like I said, if you want to pick up that ebook, the link is in the description and I highly recommend it. You won't be disappointed. It's very, very, very much so worth your money and it's worth your time to put in to learn this because in my opinion, this is the most dominant offense. You can play in several different directions. You could run split close. You could run a slot. You could run five wide. You could run bunch, trips tied in, uh, U trips. You could run spread even. Um, this thing just loaded. And so I highly encourage you, if you have not already picked up this guide, to go ahead and do it. If you don't pick it up, in my opinion, you're going to be a little bit of a step behind in terms of offensive side of the ball. Uh, this thing goes through pocket presence, shows you how to read the defense, shows you how to do everything you need to do um, to be elite on the offensive side of the ball. So I'm so excited about it. And I just want to encourage you, if you haven't picked it up yet, to go ahead and pick it up. There's a link in the description for you to pick it up. And if you want those free sample formations, just shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 Three six four four. It is my personal cell phone number. It's also in the top left hand corner of your screen, and it's also in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at ten o'clock p.m. Eastern time.